Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome. Well, there's no mystery about why we're here today. Obviously the news broke a little bit earlier and uh, we often talk about what a great day it is to be a Bruin. Well, today truly is a great day. Special day for, for all of us to wear the blue and gold. Uh, today we're announcing uh, the, new, uh, the new contract and the new arrangement with our new partners, uh, Under Armour, 15-year deal beginning July 1st, 2017. And it's not, just a, it's not just a relationship, there's much more than that. You know, we had an opportunity earlier today to talk to our coaches and to our student athletes, uh, to our staff uh, in this very room. We talked about the importance of family and bringing Under Armour into the mix uh, now makes them part of our family, which is very, very important to us. Uh, we have a shared vision, an aligned vision, and there's so many commonalities between Under Armour and UCLA. We compete, uh, we're innovative, we're cutting edge, and we win. There's so much excitement around UCLA today, so much excitement am among the coaches, among the student athletes, and certainly everyone in our family. And we're here largely because of the great work that Under Armour has done to make a name for themselves, largely as a result of their CEO and their founder, Kevin Plank. Kevin? Thank you. Thank you very much, Dan, and um, hello. Uh, Los Angeles, it's wonderful to see you, and it is wonderful to be here. I'm coming from 18 straight days of rain, and so I'm getting used to 18 days of rain in a, in a year. Um, this is a magical, magical place. Uh, this is a, 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 I've said this before, and I don't want it to ever dull on the idea, but this is really a transformational moment for our brand. Um, there are a lot of things that were considered in getting together and doing this deal, and at the heart and soul of all of that uh, was brand, and behind that brand is people. And I first want to begin uh, by thanking Dan um, and the entire athletic administrative staff for making this happen, particularly Josh, Chris, uh, Josh. I mean, we, the entire team was really uh, first class as we have have, I think, over 25 athletic deals today, all-inclusive deals. And, um, you know, like all things UCLA, this is one of the um, it's a cut above, it's just different. And you know, all that, it's fun to watch it all articulate in, um, as Dan was giving us the tour earlier, and walking through the trophy room. And we can debate and we can talk about all the things that have happened and I think we're doing something that's blockbuster today. And the reason for that at the end of the day uh, is pure performance. And I think hopefully that's what drove Dan and the team and the UCLA broader community to give us this great opportunity. And it's also what drives us is the understanding of just how excellence is the heart and soul is everything is UCLA. So this is an aspirational deal for our company at every level. And it's one that we recognize the, um, what it is and we recognize uh, what it means. And especially we recognize what it's gonna do for our company is that we believe that this deal will make us better. We believe it will make our company better, it will enhance our brand, it will make us to be more thoughtful, more strategic in terms of what we do for innovation for our athletes, which is a part of this deal as well, of having the coaches that we had the privilege of presenting to earlier, and just, as we say, having our handshake and saying hello, um, all the way down to what we're going to build in the future. You know, we think that um, this deal made a, uh, a lot of sense for us on a number of reasons. Um, and, you know, the geography of this deal and being here and truly putting uh, another great flag in the state of California is something that we're incredibly proud of. So um, this is a big deal and uh, one, again, we're humbled by and that we've got a little bit of time until we start outfitting. And so our purpose here today is, A, again, to introduce and to have the handshake and then it's also especially to begin the listening process. So uh, with that, maybe we can turn things over and answer any specific questions that you have. Yeah, let's open up for questions, guys. Not everyone at once. 
Tracy, go ahead. Dan, could you get into some of the details of the deal, what it involves, uh, some stores, uh, what kind of uh, cash involved? If, if you could maybe elaborate on some details, that'd be great. Tracy, I won't. We'll get into the forensic details. We'll get into the forensic details, but uh, it's 15 year, a $280 million deal. Um, it is uh, largely uh, lar largely a combination of, of cash and, and apparel, about 50 50, 60 40 maybe. Uh, but there's so much more than, than that. Um, there are a lot of other ancillary uh, aspects of the deal that focus primarily on uh, how we can make our student athlete better. And that's what Under Armour does. It's all about making athletes better. And at the core of the decision that we made uh, to go with Under Armour, it was clearly about the student athlete. It began with a student athlete, ends with a student athlete. So everything that encompasses uh, every aspect of the, of the deal uh, is, is certainly related to what we can do uh, for the student athlete in the end. Uh, it's a blockbuster deal, uh, as Kevin indicated. Uh, it's the largest shoe and apparel deal, footwear and apparel deal in the history of uh, intercollegiate athletics. Uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, Under Armour made a commitment to be with the best when you look at the professional athletes that they're aligned with. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a list that's, uh, that's second to none. I mean, they have captured the professional sports market uh, in, in, in these several years, and the, the explosion uh, that Under Armour has had uh, in the marketplace is largely because of the vision of Kevin uh, and the ability of his team to execute. And that's aligned with us. Uh, you know, we are very proud of, of the UCLA brand. We're very proud of our tradition. We're very proud of what we do on a daily basis. And when you talk about uh, excellence just in a general sense, it's not just about what you do on the field or in the pool or on the court, whatever the case may be. When we say champions made here, it's about creating championship people. And we're aligned with Under Armour because that is synonymous with what they do uh, as a company. So all the deal points are, uh, are as I indicated, and there, there are many of them, and you know, obviously they'll be unveiled later uh, at the appropriate time, but it's all about student athlete. How key was it, how big of a factor was it to establish like a beachhead on the West Coast, a, a flagship on the West Coast like UCLA? Yeah, thinking strategically and, and you know, beginning here is, is as a company, um, you know, we've reached a point in size and scale crossing four billion in revenues last year where we have the ability to do uh, just about anything we want to do. You know, we've got the wallet to sit at any table for any deal. Um, but we don't have the ability to do everything. You know, so we've got to be thoughtful and really, really strategic in that. Um, this deal you know, met all that criteria for us. You know, as you look at some of the larger school deals that have happened, you know, particularly in the last several months for us, is that we can't pick up all the deals. And we have to use ones that will fit into a framework that allows us to think about life in terms of a 10, or even in this instance, a 15 year time frame. So if you look back going over just you know, the last three months, uh, we've gone from uh, one team in the Pac-12 um, to solidify and, and putting an anchor in, uh, in Northern California that we were building around a base of uh, Buster Posey with the Giants, one of our key marquee athletes. Uh, an acquisition we made recently called My Fitness Pal, and their um, founder who runs Under Armour's Connected Fitness, Mike Lee, uh, in a big anchor uh, office we have up in Northern California. Uh, and then, of course, Stephen Curry uh, and all that Stephen means uh, in the world of basketball. And then recently announcing Cal Berkeley and then, frankly, coming back today and being able to say uh, within Los Angeles of, of anchoring into UCLA. So we've, you know, the, the job and the role that we have is, is um, uh, you only have so many resources, time, people, and money. And our job is to figure out the best ways to allocate those that can maximize them. We like to say, you know, there was make one dollar spend like three. Um, but I think we're more of the kind of company that looks for one plus one equals three. You hear people say one plus one equals five. We're like a one plus one equals ten. And uh, this deal, why on the surface, and hopefully people get to the second line of the press release as well, uh, is that there is a, uh, a big opportunity, I think, that we have with this university 
course, beginning in the immediate Los Angeles area, but broader through California. But you know, we think this deal has uh, uh, international appeal as well, uh, particularly as we look in, through some of our growth in places like Asia and really across across the world. But this is a this is a global asset, um, and that's how we're approaching this, and that's why um, you saw what you did, and frankly, the level of interest, and we're very proud to be uh, UCLA's new partner. You're doing the best job asking, so, yeah. uh, How key was your relationship? I know you have a relationship with Coach Mora. What kind of factor was that? Uh, I think relationships are everything. You know, is that, you know, we learned a long time ago that if you're sitting down at a negotiating table and hoping that you're just the, the one with the biggest check, um, you've probably already lost. Uh, or you're definitely the sucker at the table. Um, without question, you know, this deal, and you know, to Dan's credit, is he pressed us and as a fiduciary for the university and the athletic department. You know, he pressed this deal uh, to a point, but the first thing, and you know, one of the things that Dan said is that, you know, a brand is as powerful as UCLA, um, you know, it does not deserve to be on an auction block. And that was our approach to it, and saying, first of all, what culturally is the best fit for the university? And then, meanwhile, doing your fiduciary responsibility, and so I feel like all that criteria was met. But you know, this deal didn't start, you know, in the last three months, and it didn't start, and you know, I don't mean that from a contract perspective, but it met with us really demonstrating an understanding of the UCLA culture and the UCLA community. And so, whether it was knowing alumni, getting them to know and understand us, and the things of of how to, you know, sort of get a deal. Um, it's much more than just who's going to line up and, and wave their checkbook. Um, and I think we're very appreciative and proud of that because when that is the case, uh, we know definitely that we're the best partner and that we have a, a great chance to win. Yeah. yeah, I know people are interested in the money and the terms of the contract, but in terms of the of uniforms, which fans care a lot about, uh, do we have to wait till July 2017 to see anything? I, I think for, you know, that's the, the administration, but we want to be respectful of the current contract and let that play itself out. Um, you know, we'll be thoughtful about when we bring the uniforms in, but I also want to level set is that, you know, our ambition coming in here is not in year one and turning, turning the world on its ears that, you know, the reason we did this deal is because it has, we have such great respect for the tradition that has been painstakingly built over decades here at UCLA. And so I know that there's bloggers that will assume or, or wonder what we're doing, and, and I can just tell you that the needs of a, of a Texas or a Texas Tech or University of Maryland are very different than the needs of a Notre Dame uh, or an Auburn University. And so that's the same approach that we have from a history and a legacy standpoint as we think about what we're doing here at UCLA. UCLA is different, and, um, but the reason that we did this deal was to push innovation. So you will see the latest and greatest textiles and fabrications um, testing with student athletes on what we have with our, you know, connected fitness platform that I mentioned earlier, our, 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 our office that we have based in, in San Francisco as well as Austin as well as at our headquarters in Baltimore. You know, we now have well over 160 million with 130,000 people downloading into our platform every day. Last year we had 2 billion um, uh, workouts logged, we had 8 billion foods logged. So the data and the information that we have is really what I think people should be looking for us to bring. Uh, it was important to Dan, it was important to Josh, it was important to the entire team here at UCLA that we utilize data. Um, one of the th things that we say at Under Armour is data being the new oil um, of what we're doing to mine information to put UCLA athletes and athletics in the best position to win. And so the immediate impact you'll see beginning with the contract start in 17, of course, will be new logos and, and kit on the uniforms. But again, I, I use the phrase that this is the first handshake. Um, you know, we're going to work our way into being patient with listening and understanding. You know, we don't have anything to prove with a, with a crazy uniform. And so, but if there are demands of the school, demands of the coach, demands of the student athlete, you know, we have that capacity as well. So we can dream, we can be creative. Um, but right now, I don't think anyone should anticipate anything over the top. Is that we're gonna we're gonna get used to our relationship and get used to one another, and then uh, if you want to push, we're, we're we're your guys, we're your gals to push. Tracy, speaking of football uniforms, the fans really care. What's your stance on the UCLA shoulder stripe on the football uniform? You better comment on that. <laughs> Uh, we're talking about tradition here, and I, I think Kevin said it best that uh, UCLA and Under Armour will collaborate on the, the design of, 
uh, of all of our uniforms. And uh, obviously the shoulder stripe is very, very important to, to our tradition and, uh, and you'll see it incorporated in the design. I, I think that, you know, just for, to, to set expectations for fans in general of, of, you know, look at what we've done with some of our games of, of whether it is, um, you know, like the Notre Dame and Auburn are very, very incredibly classic uniforms that uh, moving or changing a stripe are the kind of things that don't happen. Um, but there are times that some schools are looking for something, whether, um, you know, things like a Shamrock game or those kind of instances happen. So we want to be respectful. We want to create a baseline. I think we, want to, we have um, some of and one of the best uniform designers in the world. And that is a, a completely, um, that is an all-inclusive event of our teams being out here and living the lives of the student athletes, understanding what that's like and what that's about. You know, doing the walks, like truly waking up and, and like walking to classes and feeling what that's like. Of you know, the little nuance that you'll find in the details of the uniforms are what should really come through because at the end of it, that is the essence of the brand, and that's our job is to unlock the essence of the UCLA brand. And along with that, we're we're simply going to be we'll we'll help write the story. Um, but the story is not Under Armour. The story is UCLA. So I want to be clear. And within that, we think we can, of course, drive you know immense value for our company and our shareholders as well. But, you know, again, this deal makes sense on a number of levels and, you know, that'll articulate on Saturday afternoons or evenings when our men's and women's, you know, volleyball teams or basketball teams are running out into, you know, into poly. You know, those are the kind of things that we will, you know, continue to, to, to do a great job, I think, for UCLA. More questions? All right, do a little photo op real quick. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, please stay sitting down. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm talking to, to, to the audience. Sorry. <laughs>